It's your girl, Georgia. Zoff the Remy, had a bad news. Had to hit my old town, let's get the news. Two four hour lockdown, we made no moves. Now it's no way in. And I'm back up, popping with you. What's good, YouTube? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jordan. In today's video, as you can always tell by the title, we're going to be doing a review on the Court Purple Air Jordan 1. I don't like long intros. I don't like rambling. I'ma just let y'all know to follow me on all my social medias that you saw listed in my intro to the video. They're also going to be linked down in the description box below. So let's get straight into the review. Here we have the Air Jordan Court Purple 1. This is actually a woman exclusive shoe. Obviously the men be buying our sizes or whatever, but we do the same with theirs if we can fit them. So it is what it is. But I do like this box because the top Nike sign is obviously metallic purple. So it's very much matching the shoe and the box is white. Still has that classic Jordan 1 design, but it's white and purple to match the shoe. Even the little decals on the bottom that show like Beaverton, Oregon and all that extra stuff, it's all metallic purple. It's giving very matchy matchy, but I love it. So that was just a quick peek at the box. Sometimes in my reviews, I'd be going hard on the boxes, but y'all don't really want to see that. Y'all want to see the shoe. I'm going to just give you a quick look around of the box so you can get a feel for it. And FYI, I got these off of GOAT. And I believe that they were either retail or right under retail. So it was a really good deal on these shoes. So they are 100% still dead stock. I have not worn these at all yet, but I did spray them and I did alter my laces already. But this is what the shoe looks like straight out of the box. And this is also what it looks like with the white laces because the other shoe that I have is laced with the purple laces. So I'll just give y'all a look around. The swoosh is that metallic-y purple and the top inside part of the shoe is a satin material and the outside is still that metallic purple so it's pretty nice it's a really plain shoe but the pops of purple really give it the life that it needs the bottom slash outer sole is also that same purple color it's not metallic but it is the same purple the jordan up here is also purple so with all that being said i really like this shoe the quality on it is a one. Genuinely, the quality of this leather is super, super nice. It's very, very soft. Even the midsole of the shoe is super soft, softer than usual on the typical Air Jordan 1. If I'm being perfectly honest, the quality of women's Air Jordans, like specifically women designed shoes, women made shoes, they have been stepping up with the quality because this is strictly a woman's shoe. The Barely Rose Gold Hoop 6 is a woman's shoe and the Alayli May 14 is a woman's shoe. Just all of these shoes that I've purchased this year that are specifically women's shoes. Obviously men are gonna buy them as well like I stated at the beginning of this video, but the shoes that are made for women, their quality is dumping on the men's shoes this year, in my personal opinion. So you just let me know if you agree or disagree. Now I'm gonna give y'all a look around the shoe just so you can get the full effect and also see how it looks when you mix match the laces. Because with majority of the ones that I own, the laces are mix match. White laces on the left and the purple laces on the right. Both looks very, very clean. I'd wear them both with the purple laces and I'd wear them both with the white laces. But knowing me and knowing how I operate with my ones, you know I had to double it up and do one each. So just so you can get the full effect of the shoe with the purple laces. It looks just as clean. Low key, I almost would say that the purple laces look better because I love a crispy white look, but I'm usually the type that wants to just commit. If it's gonna be crispy white, it needs to be all the way white. But this purple on the laces perfectly matches with the purple on the shoes. So it just it just goes, you know? I know y'all see that. Like this, this just goes. This combination is top tier now this is another closer look at the shoe with the white laces like I said still nice and crispy white super super crisp look on the shoe I just personally think that I prefer the laces to be purple like if I was gonna choose to wear the shoe only with one color lace I would choose the purple just because of how well it matches drop a comment in the comment section below right now and let me know whether you would choose to go with the purple laces or the white laces if you were gonna do the same lacing on each shoe <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
And just one more time, as I stated before, the inside of the shoe right in this area is actually a satin material, which is also pretty freaking soft. And on the outside of the shoe, it is that same metallic-y purple. So this shoe has a lot of unique touches to it. It seems really plain, but it's still very unique. And you have the purple accent on the tongue with the Nike Air and the swoosh. So my camera battery is actually dying. I just wanted to come on here and give y'all that quick little review. I 10 out of 10 recommend purchasing these. If you're a man and you like them and your size is available, go and cop them. If you're a woman and you're a size seven and a half or seven, the price is very affordable and very fair right now. It's still that retail price. I would cop them before they skyrocket for some odd reason or wait a little longer and maybe they'll drop. I'm gonna give y'all an on foot look of the shoe and let you see what it looks like when I wear it. That's basically that. enjoyed this video and if you found it helpful please let me know in the comment section down below and also give me a big fat thumbs up with that being said make sure that you follow me on instagram to peep my outfit inspiration because <laughs> your girl be pulling bits this right here is a fit if you're interested in sneaker content and you want to see more content like this or if you have suggestions drop it in the comment section down below and make sure that you're subscribed to my channel i'm trying to hit that 1k mark i'm trying to get monetized and i'm trying to just keep working so with that being said i appreciate you for sticking around to this point i hope that you enjoyed the video and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!